Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do one of my favorite hairstyles, which is this French twist braid. Now this is a very simple hairstyle once you kind of learn how to do it, and it can be done extremely fast, so if you're in a rush, this is definitely a hairstyle for you. Before I get started with the tutorial, I just wanted to ask you if you would just go ahead and like this video real quick and subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date on all the content coming soon. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your hair is parted on the correct side that you want. Then you're going to take a section of the top front of your hair and split it into two separate sections. Now take those two sections, make sure they are straight and not twisted, and wrap them around each other one time. After you've done this, take a section from the front of your hair and add it into the front two parts of that section. Then twist it around like you did in the step before. Now you're just going to continue this down the rest of your head until you get to the very end. Make sure that you are not twisting the individual strands because then it will definitely fall out. Now as you can see right here, I am making sure that my hair is wrapped very tightly. Now this is very important because if it's not wrapped tightly, in the future when we go to pull out the braid to make it look more full, it will fall out and not look right. Now that we're down to the last few twists that are up against your head, you're going to want to make sure that the hair that you're pulling into it is very tightly twisted. If it's not, it's going to kind of look saggy in the back and that's not what we want. So just make sure that as you wrap it, you're wrapping it extremely tightly right here. Now that all the hair is twisted together, comes a part that is optional, but is something that I really like to do, which is to pull out the hair in the front to where it kind of looks a little more full. As you can see, I'm just taking each of the little bumps and pulling it up a little. Don't pull too much or else you'll unravel the braid, but if you just lightly tug on it a couple of times, it should give and it just makes it look a little bit better. Now that you're done with that, just continue wrapping the hair around itself for the rest of your hair on down to the bottom. Do not, I repeat, do not accidentally twist the actual individual strand. If you do this, especially on this part, it will not look right and it'll kind of just look really messy and not in a good way. Now I'm just taking a little hair band and it doesn't matter what you use, you can use a rubber band, a hair band, a scrunchie if your hair is thick enough, just whatever you want to secure the bottom of the hair. Here I'm just lightly pulling at my hair all around just to kind of make sure that I, it looks how I want. Now on this bottom part you don't have to pull out as much because it comes out very easily so just some light pulls will make it look right. Now this last step is optional but if you're wanting to kind of frame your face more what I like to do is just take my thumb and index finger and then kind of pull out a little bit of hair to just frame the face better and make it look a little bit better. But do not, I repeat, do not pull too hard or it will leave you with a bunch of bumps that are not attractive. Now it's time to grab your favorite hairspray. This is just the one that I bought at the store. It was the cheapest, honestly. Just spray your hair a little bit. You can spray as much or as little as you want, just depending on how long you want your hairstyle to last. Here we have our final look. If you're wanting to go a step farther, you can actually add some little clips at the back. This is really helpful also if you didn't pull tight enough on the top and you kind of have that sag in the back, you can kind of use these to clip that up and just make it feel more secure. Thank you so much for 
watching this video and I hope you enjoyed and I can't wait to see you at my next video. If you wouldn't mind just leaving a quick like and then subscribing to my channel so that you can stay up to date. Thank you and have a blessed rest of your day.